Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. Whew, I'm gonna get some rest here, but yeah, I wanted to do this quick video because this just happened like uh, last two days. Uh, on the screen here, you see the Browns. They were on a CNN show documentary about uh, wealthy African-Americans, part of the 1% and their success. I think it's awesome. And I wanted, that's why I chose that picture here. So getting to my point, I forgot what we we're talking about initially. And somehow, I guess it has something to do with black causes. I like to engage with different people and sometimes get their opinions on things that, you know, um, may have an effect on, on the black community. Okay. And so we were talking about something else and then um, about politics and the economy, things like that. He then made a statement, and I forgot what I was saying, but he said, he said, pretty much in the black community, which this is indicative of all people, you know, rich versus poor, middle class versus rich, middle class versus poor. He said, but pretty much in a black community, what you're going to see growing more so is that you're going to have You're going to have jealousy due to classes, rich versus the poor. So if you're a black person that has money, then you're going to have, you know, you may have a little fighting going on, you know, like a fight between the classes, a fight between the have and have not. And not so much as, you know, oh, let's put them up, you know, put, you know, let's throw hands, but also fighting as far as like, you know, this way people operate. And I saw that this week is what I want to talk about. It's like, yeah, it's going to be, you know, he says the jealousy is going to sink in in that community. So the ones that do have are going to have to be extra careful. Nothing new, nothing surprising. Okay. But here's an example of something that happened. I thought, wow. And it came to my mind uh, the past two days. So, um, I'm going to talk with friends, even African Americans that, that are hiring, and you know we all have our have our issues. But there is something within the group between, like I said, there are cultures between cultures, you know, in the group. Some are more like hip hop. Some of us like symphony. Look, we we can listen to a, a rap artist. Some don't like really gross, you know, rap music. We can listen to Tchaikovsky, you know, uh, M Mendelssohn. We like a variety of things. So there are cultures within cultures. Some people are builders in the community and some people, let's face it, they are just destroyers. Tear everything down. So went to this event and I thought about what he said and it is, it's, it's, it's obvious. So I have noticed, uh, let's say when it comes to events and, you know, people spending money, having meetings and things like that, sometimes the people that they will ha have their assisting or, or, or working, sorry to say, most I've seen cases, the problem is with another black person. What's the problem? You have a black person that's here with everyone else. Could be the one that's hosting it. Could be the main shot caller. And, and what's the problem? When you have the so-called help. Little Kiki. So that's recently what I saw. I said, that's interesting. I'm noticing a pattern here. Little Kiki and sometimes little DeMarcus, little Titi, they have no problem servicing Caucasian people, Asian, Hispanic. Oh, they have no problems with a smile and they are on it. You can ask them to do the same thing five times in an hour and they're going to do it with a smile. But when it comes to, especially I'm noticing, like I said, with a black woman or a black person, some jealousy. Don't want to do it. Don't A simple thing as servicing someone, black man, Highly influential. Could change this whole dust bucket's night life overnight. You dumb idiot, you. If you would listen with your dumb crust that broke butt. So dumb. You want to all of a sudden create a problem that's not even there. Jealousy. Black women. Lil Kiki. Oh, do this to that. Lil Kiki has done it for everybody. But for successful black, for the black women, 
This little thing, those little dust bucket dust in her baby mama feet ain't moving. What's going on with you? Oh, I get it. You're hired to do a job, but you're not going to service other black women. Why? Because you're jealous. Some of these people, they're low vibrational. You seem to think because you sitting up here cleaning or doing a maid service or serving food today, that guess what? We should all be on the same page. No. Everybody's different. I said, look at this. I said, I know this. It's a problem with the black ones. The problem with the black man, this Negro over here, the dust bucket, want to create a problem like the man doesn't have a reservation. Yes, he does, fool. They already come from. So you find everybody but his. I know what the issue is. You probably can't afford to stay there not, not one night. That's what's up. And it's okay for Becky and them to stay in Lingling and Maria, but you see your own, you got a problem gotta be kidding me that's why people like to stay in their lane that's why people with resources you want to know why nobody want to come back and help them because they already know what's there the angry birds and i said look at this here it's the black ones they're telling you what to do and you still not doing it it's like when i was in the gucci store that time you know they're pulling our purses from the back and all of that and I told the black man, which he saw me there before, and like I said, I'm not sweet. I think I'm going to ask you to my money. You got it all twisted. So after baking about the purses, I'm like, there are seven purses on the counter. That's enough. I don't know what I'm going to get. You know, so I just told him, oh, you can go ahead and put these back. She heard him too. You know, you can put the purses back. He, he, didn't, he wasn't doing anything. He didn't even budge. So Becky, she's like, oh, you heard what she said. Put the purses back. Then, like a good old little S L A V E, he gonna put them purses back. I said, "Wow, look at that!" And I'm not doing it now, but at this time, the money I spent in the store, fool, you wish. You gotta be kidding me. And I thought about it. That's why black people. That's why people in general they have resources. They're not trying to reach down and reach back and help. Very few. Most don't. I said, and I thought about I said, I thought about the restaurant. Black person has a restaurant who they're mainly hiring somebody. They don't hold or hire no black folks. Gee, I wonder why. Because you like to turn down. You like to turn down. You love to destroy. So they got a news flash for you. They're not hiring you. And that right there, I, I thought about it. I see myself in business. Where the problem come from? Let, I'm just going to have to be realistic. Was there a main problem out of um, Maria, Becky? No, they. Pre- I mean, they did the job, did what I said. What a part you already know. The problem coming in with Lil Kiki and Lil TT. And I thought about that when he said when that guy when he said that he said it's gonna pretty much be you know it's a, a class system. The jealousy is going to see through. So then, you you know, people that have assets in the black community, they're going to have to be very careful because you, you're going to have with the half and half not. And that's just common. That, that That's just common. But I find it so interesting how that I just kind of noticed. I said, well, look in the, I'm looking at it. I said, this, this has happened before. I kind of noticed it's a problem with the black person serving other black people doing what, uh, what you're told to do. It's like if they say, okay, at this table right here, they want this kind of champagne go ahead and serve it make sure it's there okay you, do it oh i ain't i'm not gonna do it kiki where you busy wow and i thought to myself i said you know this is so stupid our people that, that that's how you know you have self-hate there's so much to us in so self um self-hate you have no problem caring to other people but when you see somebody that looks like you so stupid, so dumb, so stupid, I ain't going to do it. So now with the management problem, so you know what they do? They just go ahead and just fire them. Just like I told you about those black men at that store, let them go. When it comes to the black women, oh, I'm not going to deliver. How stupid can you get And You at the bottom. And then you wonder why. I said, so some people, I thought about it, maybe you're at the bottom, and I don't wish suffering on any good person, but before the dummies, the dust buckets, and dust stainers, maybe you're at the bottom suffering, because guess what? You belong there. 
because you're, you're dumb. Don't know how to try to smooth some time and maybe just listen. Like I said before, somebody I know uh, at a person's house, the dude at the house they were at, well, that man is worth, because I Googled him, $136 million, okay? I, I said, oh, I, I Googled him. Huh? Jeepers. I listen. So, hold on. He put a million or whatever the amount was into a certain stock. I didn't put, I don't have that kind of money, but I did put in, what I put in? I forget, maybe a little over a thousand dollars, I think I put in. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I sure did. At twelve dollars a share. Why? Because I heard he did it. Because somebody I knew was at that meeting at his house. I'll do it too. Shoot. Ha! Person said, Oh, did you trade that stock? I said, Yeah, I did. You said so and so did it. So yeah, hey, I want to make a little money too. Uh, he said, yeah, you might want to go ahead. He said, he's going to get ready to sell his. And you're selling too, child? If they're going to sell too, I am. Go check. Yeah, good idea to sell it. Why? Because the $12 a share are turned into $40. $12 a share. $40. You can do the math. I was a happy camper. But see, when you're an ignorant person, you don't even know. Sometimes maybe just keep your ear to the ground and just listen. They had a movie like that, and the man was a chauffeur, and it was some movie. I think, I'm not sure if it was the, re oh, yeah, I think it was that remake a long time ago of Sabrina, which was like some kind of romantic movie uh, with some guy named, some guy like in the 50s or something that was really popular, but they did the modern version. It was called Sabrina. And what happened? The uh, chauffeur listened to the uh, man make deals every day. He started listening and started uh, playing the same tickers, the same stocks. Look up what happens. Uh, yeah, he's worth about three or four million dollars. He's a millionaire. But see the hood, we're too, too uh, some people are too dumb to even do that. Just listen. God, I just said from the opportune position. Unbelievable. So I said, look at this here. We have other black people in, in jobs, service, customer service oriented. You don't have a problem serving anyone else, but you have a problem serving other black people. Why? Because you're jealous. Because you're jealous. Because you're stupid and self-hating. But you don't have a problem serving Becky... Lingling anyone else. And I thought about it. I said, yep, yeah, this right here is a good example of it. It's a class thing. You're mad to see other black people here at this event. Would you be happy if everybody was white? Then it'd be, I want sure ain't no black ones at that thing. Then when it, so then that's a problem. Then when there are some black people, then it's another problem. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And then you wonder why they, uh, uh, they won't come back to the hood and help. Why would they? They put themselves in danger. Class warfare. It's nothing new, nothing uncommon. But seeing this here, it made me think about what he, what he said. I said, wow. I said, I'm noticing this quite a bit. It's always a problem with the black ones when it comes to catering to other black people. And then I kind of noticed things. I'm like, wow, so look at so-and-so. So she hired this person. Maybe a black woman could have done that job. No, it's beyond It's beyond that. They want to get the job done. doesn't mean a black person can't do it. But see, what we don't don't see is sometimes we have so much drama within a group. Anybody got time for today? I just think like that's the one. That could be a, pro, a, a job that maybe uh, this, uh, what, you know one of us could do. But then when you look at business, no one got to, has time to see, well, is Kiki going to be the one or is she going to act up or have a bad day or try to tear it down? I said, look at what did my father said, too dumb to live. These fools are too dumb to survive. And you think you're going to act up. People that have money, I got the news flash for you, honey. They don't, they don't take subpar. The, the people on the screen right here. They're not going to look at you and yell and get, get, get uh, stooped to your level of ghetto-ness. Oh, they, they would never. All they know is, um, 
You're popping to speak with someone and you'd be gone. They're not finna get up in your face. This lady, she would never, you know, and clown you and let you have. So that, that, that's hood mentality. That's, that's all you know. I thought about it. I said, look at the many opportunities that these fools will lose just by acting so ignorant. I was with this, um, um, someone I knew. He's quite wealthy. I'm not. The lady just saw me with him. Next thing I know, Becky, this girl has chased me down at the hotel. My, you staying here too. Oh, I just, I saw you with those things and I know you came back and got some, uh, uh, some more things out of, yeah, I don't even know this lady. I mean, you're at the same hotel. We're, we're both paying. You know, what's up? But she saw me with someone and she must have recognized him. So girl, again, they're worth millions. I'm not. I happen to know somebody, okay? I'm not that. I don't even have a trust fund, all right? So I, you know, I'm just kind of like in because I know someone. That's somebody my husband knows, all right? So, yeah. Next thing I know, she's helping me, grabbing my bags and, Oh, no, I can help. I'm thinking to myself, first of all, I don't even know this girl. Uh, what is she doing? And she and what did she say to me? She says, I know you're a businesswoman. Okay. She said, yeah, I could tell. She said, I've, I've seen you here. She said, um, and I can tell, you know, by the way, you, you know, you dress everything. And she said, I just want you to know. Next thing I know, she's handing me her resume. I'm like, okay, but she's staying in the same hotel. So you have some kind of change. And she goes, oh, yeah, I just moved here, yada, 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 and I'm getting sell in a mile pace. I'm going to stay with da, 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 da. Okay, I, I got you, got you. Hand me her resume, her phone number, uh, anything I can get, get you know. Do you need an assistant? No, I don't need an assistant, but thank you. If there's anything I can do for you, you know, uh, let me know you have my number. If I can do some side work, anything. Why does she do that? She's obviously watching. And at the time, I had nothing for her. But see, that's how you can tell a go-getter. I wouldn't be surprised. She's on her feet and might, might be doing better now. She's like, I figure you're a businesswoman. And I thought, hey, maybe I could work for you. And I was like, this is interesting. You, huh. And then I talked to her a little bit. And long story short, um, Becky... The lady was was divorced. Divorced in town, um, getting herself settled, got a place, pending job, and everything. But what did she do? She thought, oh, she's a businesswoman. Oh yeah, helping with my. I'm like, oh my god, do I tip this chick? You know, <laughs> you know, seriously, we're staying at the same hotel. Do I tip this girl? You know what I mean? Why? She saw an opportunity. She, in her mind, oh, this woman here is a black woman. Oh, she's dressed well. Okay, I see what's going on, you know? She took her chance, took her shot. That'll be the kind that make it. But little Kiki sitting up here stupid with an attitude will forever be at the bottom. Hate to tell you. Will forever be at the bottom. Uh, one of my friends, he's, he's African American, and um, he was doing something uh, in a store. And it was so interesting. Uh, he said, this little dude, Caucasian dude, he was talking to him. And he came, he said, the boy came to him, um, oh, works in a store. And the dude came to him and uh, struck up a conversation. Next thing you know, ask him out to blue. Well, you seem like a very uh, smart businessman, sir, and I would really like to, you to, to mentor me. Say what? I would really like for you to mentor me. Smart. He said, I was kind of taken aback by it. He said, yeah, he's like, you know, uh, it's, he's like, it's a teenager, some little white kid, maybe like 17 or so. He said, I was just kind of shocked. I said, well, no. I said, uh, that right there. I said, I'm not shocked at all. He can read people. And he, I mean, I said, that, that right there, I know you. You're the Wall Street guy. Okay. 
you're you've done well for yourself i said the kid ain't dumb he can see it so that kid knew success and he knew right then and there and, he, and maybe he thought hey i might have a better chance than a black man he said that, that, that could be a possibility so what who cares he saw a chance and he took it he went ahead and what did he do shoot the shot I said, so that right there, I said, I got to give him, man, I, I got to give him some, some points. Because he made clear, started a conversation out, wanted to know if you could mentor him. Let him mentor you. I said, and stop marketing and you'll probably get rich. Let him mentor. And I thought about it. I said, wow. I thought about my... um circumstance with the girl and i was like man i'm like you know i wish she'd come like with the same hotel so you're not doing shit bad you know and i already had a job pending starting i guess her new job because she's starting over but what is she doing trying to latch on oh that's a business person i'm gonna try to latch on girl i don't blame you because I, I i don't blame you not one bit that's what i do <laughs> I'm, I'm just be honest with you let me see. They got something going on over here. I'm thinking I'm going to have a seat. They got something going on. Like everybody's smiling and got something happening. Oh, I, uh, I don't want to be a seat where the, where the poverty D is. Those two circumstances. But yet and still, in our group, what happens? We want to tear you down. We're going to cater to everybody but you. That's why this on the screen, they would, I doubt they would, you know, they may help. I don't know them uh, uh, about the people. But this on the screen, you'd be surprised. Sometimes just by being around, you might can just learn and, and you can listen and learn a lot. Listen and you can learn a lot. Oh, girl approaching me like that. Girl with your resume. Girl, one woman show, <laughs> you know. But that's how you get ahead. Little Kiki and TT want to cause drama for people that look like them. And no, I'm not going to service them and check on them every 30 minutes, every 20 minutes, every 10, whatever. I, I'm not going to do it. Oh, you're not going to do it. Ignorance. And that's why some, oh, I'm, I'm serious. That's why some are at the bottom. Some people are at the bottom because you belong there. It's not that your time hasn't come up. You're not, you're not going to ever have a time. The jealousy between the half and the half nights. Don't know how to position yourself. It could be an opportunity. And I'm like, especially to me, at least I tip you. I'm a hell of a tipper. Y you think? I'm a, a for, for women? Hell, I bought Dawn hamburgers. I've been in a casual what, what you, uh, place. Dropped $20. And I had hamburgers and, and a fry. And it didn't cost that much. Well, probably won't now, but you understand what I'm saying? I'm a hell of a tipper. How do you see people smile? You, you think? But our people, I about what the man said is so very true. It'll be a war between the have and the have nots. And that's what little Kiki or what they're doing and little TT. -T. When there's black people at certain events, you want to act like, oh, you want to go ahead and give that hood service. But everybody else, you all smiles. The ignorance is loud. And the sad thing about it, they can't even afford to be already at the bottom. And that's why they're going to stay there. And I thought about that with that chick, that lady, and then with my friend, that little that little boy, that little Caucasian kid. Will you be my mentor? <laughs> I said, that kid's going to be a success because he's not afraid to ask. He knows. I said, think about it. Is he asking everybody? I said, with something about you, he saw success. I said, he saw a black man of wealth. I mean, that's, you know, you're that you're that guy. Nothing about you is hood, street, or average. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from a tree. Look at his daddy. They were hitting on millions try his daddy 30. <laughs> hitting on millions try. He already hit that, what, 30 years ago? No, over 40 years. When he was just born. And he's early 40s. Kid asked, can he be his mentor? And I thought about it. I said, look at these young black women here. You sit up here, you you got to, because of other black women, they're doing well and you're not, you want to add king, you want to add Keisha the king fool, boo-boo. Keisha the queen fool. Don't even know. Sometimes you could be around, I don't care what the issue is. You could hear something, like I said, about that stop tick, old boy making that kind of, you know, he put a million dollars into it. Well, I doubt it's going to go ahead and put a million in, in it for to to lose. So that right there, that's what somebody's doing. I'm going to do it too. What's the name of the company? I'm going to do it too. Glad I did. 
Wish I knew what what else is he doing? You know what I'm saying? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars stock turn to forty dollars. But see, when you're ignorant, when you have an attitude, you're not gonna get it. That young girl that's got drive. Oh yeah, she, 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 I'm sure she'll be doing fine. I would imagine. That young kid that asked my friend, I was like, "Are you?" I came out of nowhere. Can you uh, be my mentor? I said, "A kid sees success. He knows success when he sees it, and I don't blame him. He knows success when he sees it. So he figures, you know what? Anybody with half a brain, let me try to hitch my wagon to it. Drop off some kind of knowledge." But no, not in the BC. We we are gonna have these the, the warfare. That's why we treat each other the way we do. Some of us are down with everybody else to be down to. Well, if I'm cooking at the burger shot, burger shack, and doing chicken, you all do too. It doesn't work like that, sweetheart. So that's why some of our people are down and gonna stay down. They will disrespect this couple. They're very successful, part of the one percent, in, in a heartbeat. Why? Don't hate, emulate. So I thought about it and I said, you know, I'm starting to understand things and I'm starting to understand more so. I see black people in business, you know, and doesn't and you're right. It's like you know, blacks will say, Well, because of a black owned business, I ain't gotta I ain't gotta shop with them. You sure as hell don't. And when black people have money success, they gotta deal with you either. They can't. It's too much drama. Again. No problem serving Peter and Megan and Ling Ling Lee Lou. No problem. The child, they want look, they'll be kissing the ground for honey boo boo. But I said, look at this. I'm noticing when there's other African Americans who are having a problem. Why? Because the one at the bottom, the lower class, they don't have a problem cleaning or cooking or serving other people. They think, hey, that's what I'm supposed to do. Ain't that what you're supposed to do? That's what they think. But somebody looks like me, uh uh-uh. uh. And as long as people that are like that think that way, that's why a lot of them, can't, they can't can't rise, can't get a chance. A chance, an opportunity can be right there in that room. Just shut your mouth up, do a good job and smile. You just don't know. And then I thought about it. The same thing the girl with me at the hotel. The same thing with my friend, the young boy in the store. Can you be my mentor? Recognizing talent, recognizing knowledge, looking for a come up. But not a lot of our people, all we see a come up, we want to try to bring it down or want to try to make you feel bad. And that's the part that's really sad, can't even afford to. So you get, so you see a lot of companies, you'd be surprised. You know, I hate to say Robert Smith. Did you really expect him to have a company full of black folks? I didn't. I already knew he wasn't going to do that. But sometimes it's the things that we do. So what the white man said is so very true. Among black people, you're going to have a class system, the have and the have not. So you're going to have to be very, very careful. And that's why the people that have, they don't stay in the hood. No. They don't stay, they don't stay in the hood. They don't want to be around it. Because why? They know what's there. And it can get real ugly real quick because the ones in the hood, they are angry. And they just don't care. So some people love to tear things down. That's why they are down. Mm -hmm. That's why some, everybody can go through a struggle. Trust me, I know. But some people, it's going to always be a struggle because that's who they are. Just tear everything down. Everything is so negative. And that's all they're going to have. So that there, I thought about that at recent events. I said, this is really sad. And I mean, we're talking black on black, and it's a problem. Customer service, black on black, it's a problem. Accommodating. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, we're a little longer than I anticipated, but let me know what you all think. And I, like I said, it's really sad. Given this economy, it's so sad, can be so stupid. But like I said, that's why some people at the bottom. At the bottom, all angry, you're going to stay there. Nobody wants to come and deal with an angry bird. And what, what's the saying? You can't save a drowning man. Why he gonna he can't swim? He gonna start fighting, knocking you in your head. Just let him drown. And I might say that these people would do that, but in general, black people that have money, I truly understand why. It's no love for them in Blackistan. 
is jealousy and hatred. Let me know what you all think. Feel free to share your experiences. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.